Well hello there folks, how are you doing? It's lovely to see you again as usual and I hope that you have had a brilliant week and having a good day so far. So welcome back to What's For Tea, my name's Cheryl if you're new here. We are a family of four from the west coast of sunny Scotland and it's just a wee look at what I've got for the family food for the week ahead. You know, we went to Sainsbury's this week and I just, you know, I really am noticing now, you know, that the prices of things are going up because this was just over six £66. It was a wee home delivery this morning. It came about eight o'clock, I think. But yeah, I am starting to notice now different prices and you know certain things creeping up. So, you know, prices are definitely going up, which I'm sad to see. And it makes these sort of bigger shops, you know, quite noticeable. But I will show you what I've got. So I picked up, as usual, some grated cheese and then some parsley. These be yogurts I like the look of, the live yogurts. I haven't tried them. They do look nice. Mr. What's for Tea's usual strawberry trifles. And he gets these every week. I'm not really that much of a fan. Then some muesli and then this wee stew pack. I'm going to be doing a beef stew in the slow cooker. So that's handy, you know, just chop it up, peel it and you're good to go. Some Brussels sprouts, I think I'm going to put this next to a creamy chicken and mushroom stew that I'm doing. That's the mushrooms. These tomatoes, I thought, looked really nice, so I picked up some tomatoes. We're going to be having a tuna pasta bake, so that's the fresh penny. That's the slow cooker sauce that I'm going to use for the slow cooker beef stew, and that's the tuna pasta seasoning. Couldn't find the Coleman's one for some reason, but yeah, that'd be fine. Big bag of our usual tatties and then some potato croquettes for the side of something. This is the chicken sauce I'm going to use for my creamy chicken and mushroom sort of stew thing. A can of tomato so soup for the cheeseburger pasta bake. A couple of cans of mushy peas. We're going to be having fish and chips one of the nights. These wee jellies I love, you know, they're under 10 calories and they're just nice for a wee sweet treat. A wee steak pie, we all like a steak pie. And I've seen this, I've never seen it before, so Mr. Mr. What's for Tea likes to make the scones. So I got him this just to see, you know, if there's any difference between this and his normal ones. Some frozen chips and some frozen sweet corn as well. I like to have this on standby. These wee ice lollies I got for the freezer because it is quite warm just now. Some frozen green beans just to have in a pinch. A big carton of orange juice and then a couple of bottles of diluting juice or squash, whatever you call it. This Robinson's one is really nice and I really fancy the Vimto as well. I haven't seen these before. We trifle Bakewells. I mean, how cute do they look? And I bet they're going to be lovely. Some sparkling water. I've been liking the fizzy water recently. A big bag of our frozen jackets. I think there's 50p off those at the moment. And this is the fish I'm going to be using for the fish and chips. And then some salted crisps for the snack drawer. And then some loo rolls. This is just a wee quick look at my meal plan. Because so many of you have you know, you've asked to see it. So I'm going to show you. So there's a wee star there. This is actually Friday. So I start from Friday down the way and then go on to next week. This is what I'm planning on making. But it's in no particular order. You know, it just depends what we feel like on the night. Because although on Monday I've got the creamy chicken and mushroom and basmati rice, we might end up having that on Wednesday or Tuesday. But yeah, that's just a wee quick look at what I'm planning on making for those who have asked to see it. So that was everything that I got. So just before I move on, I wanted to say as usual, a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well. It's all very much appreciated, guys. And a big hello to the new patrons. And I will update the channel members list at some point during the week because I know there are new channel members as well. And thank you all so much for watching. And if you haven't done yet, give the video a wee like just on your way out because it does help the channel and if you haven't subscribed yet and you do like these kinds of videos why not consider subscribing just before you leave and I will catch up with you during the week for another wee recipe or back on Sunday for meals of the week or even back next week for another shopping haul but whenever you choose to join me again have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll catch you off a soon back here on What's For Tea and if you're not following me over on Instagram yet. I'm what's for tea three over there and it would be lovely to see you. So I'm going to go off now and wish you a wonderful rest of your day. Take care and bye for now. Bye now.